Oh, hey. You know, I remember a time when, uh, back in the 90s, where I had a lot of ceiling vents and things to clean. And most of them vents were like 15 feet, 20 feet in the air. And, you know, rather than getting on a ladder and climbing up a ladder and, and strapping on a backpack and going up that ladder, what I decided to do is that I went to a, a home improvement store and I got a length of a light PVC pipe. And what I did with that PVC pipe is that uh, I, I attached it to my backpack and then at the end of, at the, end of the PVC pipe I put a, a brush like this here. And so then I was able to stand on the floor and be able to vacuum all these ceiling vents and lights by standing on the floor. So it was a much safer, safer option for me. I didn't have to climb up and down the ladder and, and so on and so forth, you know, uh, with the chance of possibly falling off the ladder, just let alone the fatigue of going up and down that ladder all the time. So, you know, I thought it was rather interesting um, that I did that. This was back in the 90s. Well, you know, move forward today now, uh, you know, uh, in uh, 2019, and uh, I met a gentleman, uh, uh, Stuart, uh, Stuart Tyler, uh, with a with a SpaceVac, and uh, him and I got to talking, and I asked him if he'd be uh, if he'd be kind enough to do an interview with me. So uh, I'm going to go and put some clips of the interview on here, but uh, SpaceVac. Uh, what they do is that they had developed a system for high, uh, high level cleaning. <clears throat> so now you're able to take a vacuum system, a backpack or other type of, uh, of, of vacuum cleaner, and you got, uh, poles that you, that you can put together. Uh, they're graphite poles, really lightweight, and they've got a number of different heads that you can put at the, on the end of these poles to clean, uh, piping, venting. Um, just any objects that are, are up high uh, or hard to reach. So now they've got a system to where you can, uh, by putting this together, do everything from the ground floor. So, you know, you can do something 20, 30 feet in the air. Um, so it, I thought it was rather interesting that, okay, back in the 90s here I was using a PVC pipe and now they've got uh, obviously, you know, much high tech uh, tools to do so. But I know many of, uh, Many cleaning business owners that are cleaning commercially and residentially will come across situations to where how the heck do you clean something that's up in the air like that safely? Uh, you know, again, you don't want to be climbing up ladders with, with a backpack on or, or trying to wrestle a, a vacuum cleaner and try to vacuum something and clean something that way. It's just not safe. You know, you may also think, well, geez, I can always hire, I can always rent a lift you know, and uh, rent a lift and go up and, and do all the cleaning that way. Well, you can, but, you know, there's there's disadvantages of that, too. You know, and first of all, it's always about safety. Because whenever you have a lift, you know, you're, you, first of all, you have to have training on it. And uh, you never want to, once the lift is operated or it's in an up, up position, you never want to be moving that lift in the up position. You always have to lower the lift, move it, and raise it then do your cleaning, lower it, then move it, raise it. So that, that you know, that's quite time consuming. So let alone that uh, these lifts uh, can also do damage to the floor. So in order to prep for that, you're going to have to put down some plywood uh, sheeting, you know, to help protect the floor. Uh, so there's other issues like that there to where now with the, the system that SpaceVac has, you can do everything safely from the ground. Um, so, you know, check this out. Uh, you may find that this may be a tool that you may want to invest in. Uh, especially if you have some accounts that have some of these hard to reach areas and uh, these, these high areas. Uh, I think it would be well worth the investment. So, uh, I'm going to put some clips on here. I hope you enjoy it. And um, uh, let me know what you think. Make sure you put some comments uh, uh, down below and make sure you share the video. And uh, for those of you that have not subscribed to our uh, YouTube channel yet, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Uh, we have hundreds and hundreds of videos on how to build a successful cleaning business. So here's, here's some clips, and uh, I'll talk to you on the backside. SpaceVac International takes high-level cleaning to the next step with a system that makes it faster, safer, and easier to clean in accessible high levels. 
by avoiding the use of ladders, hydraulic platforms, or scaffolding. The risk of damage or injury is greatly reduced, as all of the cleaning work takes place from the safety of the ground floor. Manufactured from lightweight, rigid carbon fiber poles, the system connects to allow operators to vacuum efficiently up to 15 meters high. Our unique safety locking mechanism prevents the poles from separating when in use and make it possible to maneuver the brushes with a great deal of precision. This safety locking mechanism also ensures that there is no risk of any part of the equipment getting stuck in a tight space or falling down and causing damage or injury. It's also safe to vacuum downwards without risk of the brushes or heads detaching and falling off. Our easy-to-use wireless camera and monitoring system makes it possible to vacuum surfaces not visible from ground level. Streaming via Bluetooth, the camera can be used to monitor progress as well as documenting the results and also works perfectly as an inspection tool. The system is equipped with a range of brushes and heads in a variety of angles making the system adaptable for even the toughest cleaning challenges. They can also interconnect to allow the operator to build heads to get into the most awkward of areas. No more ladders, hydraulic platforms or scaffolding. SpaceVac makes the work fast, efficient, safe and cost effective. Please contact us to arrange a free demonstration today. So how's your day? Oh, so far so good. Uh, it's about you know about half over, so we'll we'll see that what the other half has in store. Yeah, yeah. Can you see me? No, all I see is the uh, iPad. Okay, I don't know why it's not letting me. Uh, let me see. I can see you anyway. Okay. But I'm anyway. Yeah, just with the little icon in the bottom is just uh, it, it just says iPad and it's a little. Uh, oh. anyway, I, can see, I can see you. I don't know why. Okay. Um, I'm just sort of trying to play around with it. Yeah, hopefully you'll be able to get on. Uh, well, I, I guess I, I can I see am, you. Yeah, I good. Can, well, I am recording. Okay. Well, I, I just want to thank you for taking the time to, to get on this call. There you are. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, yes. So I, I did. Um, I just went on your website. I didn't really, you know. I know we connect on, on LinkedIn, and we may have some synergies or whatever. I don't really know exactly what you do. I mean, we're we're pretty straightforward. We're a manufacturer of high-level cleaning products. Mm -hmm. um, distribute out of Buffalo, New York. So I just didn't know, uh, you know, what you did or how your um, what you do anyway. Well, what we do is, uh, uh, um, we've been in the cleaning industry for 33 years. Uh, we've owned both commercial and residential cleaning companies. Sorry, I'm just gonna. Back, back in 2005, uh, you know, we sold, uh, we sold a few companies. And uh, in 2005, we developed the janitorialstore.com. And it's an online membership site for commercial cleaning business owners to come to to get resources, tools, and, and help. Uh, then in 2009, we developed My House Cleaning Biz, uh, which is for the residential side of the industry. And that's what we do now, is that we help uh, clean business owners uh, you know, start, grow, and uh, scale their businesses. And that's why, you know, uh, when I seen, uh, uh, you know, the, the space back, uh, it brought back memories. I remember back in the 90s where I used to take a PVC pipe. Uh, and, ex you know, use it for an extension to do 15-foot uh, high ceilings, you know, get some of the lights and vents. Um, but, yeah, and, uh, you know, obviously, uh, space back is by far not even uh, a comparison to a lightweight PVC pipe. <laughs> but yeah. uh, that's why, you know, that's why when I read your profile on LinkedIn and stuff, I wanted to connect with you and hopefully uh, so we could have a discussion. It uh, the, the information that that you have 
it will be really helpful to our members, both commercial and residential, because they need your tool. There's no question about it. And I'm not sure how many of them actually know that it's available out there. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're probably right, because we, we, I mean, we've been selling it for about two years. It's been available in the UK for probably seven or eight years now. Um, you know, that transition across the, across the Atlantic was more sort of funds for the, uh, the UK to just grow the business. Uh, oh, so that was really, so, you know, when I became involved a couple of years ago, you know, I, I took over distribution rights, but trying to, for North America, so trying to get that, um, you know, the word out as, as it's been, it's been slow. We have a full distributor network, with a, a distributor network across the country and manufacturers reps to cover all corners of the, uh, but, you know, still trying to get a manufacturers rep to when they're going out and they've got basically 10 products in the back of their car to try and get them to put space back in front of everybody every, each time is, you know, it's a challenge. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so you're right. Whenever we quite often do demos and people just go, you know, I didn't know this existed. So that's correct in what you say. Well, you know, the thing is, is that SpaceVac, it accomplishes so many different things. Uh, number one, it's safe, you know, and uh, it's keeping people off of uh, scaffolds and ladders and lifts and things like that there that uh, that can be a problem. Yeah. Let alone uh, expensive to rent, too. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that is that's one of our our challenges. Is really there is a, there is a good return on investment on the, on the, the product. Right. It's not a cheap kit. I mean, I'll tell you that it lists the interior kit with a camera lists about thirty four hundred dollars. You know, that's from a distributor. But most people can obviously get that a little bit cheaper from a distributor. But you know, having mm -hmm. said that, you don't have to exactly as the things that you highlighted the you know the, the cost of lifts and safety and all of those type of things it is a relatively quick return on investment that's just called getting being able to, to get that message across mm -hmm. yeah you know because that's one of the, the main concerns that I've always had uh, and you know in doing the research on space back I noticed that uh, it actually was developed for cleaning gutters and, and uh, downpipes yes that makes sense uh, but you know, it just it makes a uh, just really good sense that how it transitioned in from from the gutters now into just about cleaning anything high, uh, such as pipes and venting and, and other types of surfaces from the ground floor just by using the, the carbon fiber uh, uh, poles. It's a great idea. Yeah. Um, would is there some way that you would? I mean, how do you? putting stuff on your site how do you how do you monetize it is it something that you would be you would put as an information you would look for information from us or would it something you somehow monetize or how i mean no i'm trying to I'm not trying to not get it down to brass tacks quickly but uh, yeah, yeah. How, do you, how do you see the relationship working or how do you normally do it with other people well what we do with uh, uh manufacturers and and uh people that have uh product software and so on and so forth you know we will join as partners and uh, we have an affiliate program. So, you know, for us, it's all about getting the word out to our members. Well, we have members nationwide in over 30 countries. And by doing that and having the partner developing a relationship with our members, that's where it can really open up the trust and people will start. That's been our experience over the years. Um, and that's what, so that's what we like to do. You know, I always start off with something, something like this here where we're just doing an interview and just getting people to uh, be familiar with the product. And, uh, you know, then I also, you know, in, the, in this process here, you know, I always ask for your contact information so people can contact you or where they can reach out to, to find a, uh, uh, a distributor. Yeah. Uh, so essentially that's what, that's all I'm doing. Um, for me to monetize it, you know, sometimes I'll look and see if, you know, if you guys have a, an affiliate program, that'd be great. But, you know, that's really not my main goal. My main goal is to bring information to my members and uh, in any way that I can bring the information to them and, and value and hopefully save them a dollar or two. That's what it's all about. Okay. Just out of curiosity, how many members do you have? Uh, we have uh, about 1,200, I think it is now. Okay. 
Okay, that's, that's, a, that's a good number. More, more, yeah. more than, more, that's more than we get clicks on our website on a regular basis anyway. That's oh, yeah, yeah. When, yeah, when you start thinking about, you know, that's just our membership, uh, you know, our, our um, subscriptions and things like that there, I think we probably have a total of around 30,000, you know, uh, people that have signed up for our newsletters and different things like that. And uh, we generally will scrub them every couple of years. Uh, you know, we have our newsletter, we have our, our uh, uh, YouTube channel, obviously, then we have uh, Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups, you know, so when you start looking at all those different networks that we have, you know, we have a substantial amount of people that are in that network that are primarily cleaning businesses, either commercial or residential. Okay. So that, well, that's what's the beauty of it. You know, that's what I really love is uh, helping helping our members build their businesses. Uh, you know, some of our members, we have people that are just thinking about it, just, just getting started. And we have companies that are doing multi-million dollars of business. And, you know, we provide a little bit of everything for everybody because one of the things that we have on our site is an LMS learning management system. And we offer uh, uh, employee training. So right on the janitorial store in my house cleaning biz, they can get training for their employees, their frontline cleaners. They can get management training. Uh, we also offer additional uh, professional development or personal development by having another LMS that's called uh, CSU Business Library. That has over 8,000 training videos on it. So let's say if a person is interested in learning more about business, uh, sales, um, you know, it, it just goes on and on, HR and so on and so forth. That's where we really shine is in, in uh, helping people train and get educated on various things. Okay. But I, that's what we always look forward to is just, uh, just educating people. You know, like I say, I know there's people out there that aren't aware that this is available to them. Yeah, and sure, it may be, a, uh, it may be a, a, quite an investment, but they also have to think about, you know, the other costs that of a potential um, injury with the cost would be by far more than $3,500. Yeah. yeah. So those are some of the things that, you know, I'll help educate with, uh, with people and help them think about this whole process. And generally, you know, that's the deal is that it, uh, a piece of equipment, you know, a quality piece of equipment is going to cost you an investment. Well, you want to think about how you can uh, recapture that investment and over what period of time. Generally, in the cleaning industry, we're always looking at 12 months. So, you know, if we're buying a, an auto scrubber or if we're buying whatever it is, we're always trying to look and see how we can recapture that investment over a 12-month period of time. And with some of the jobs that the, that the space vac could do, you know, it's, it's more of the uh, challenging things. I, and we talk to members all the time, and I have people call me and say, Steve, I've got a job where it's a warehouse where I have to clean the piping and this, that, and the other, and I'm going to have to uh, hire a lift. Well, if they're aware of the space back, you know, that would have been an alter alternative method for them. And by far, you know, I think the production rate, uh, that's everything, everything's based off of production rates in the cleaning world. So that would be one thing that I'd be interested in if you guys would have any information on that, using the space back by cleaning overhead pipes and piping. You know, what kind of a production rate does a person look at? Can they clean? We We've got some case studies. So on that, just sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but we do have, I probably got, I, I could probably send you three or four of them right off the bat that people have, uh, you know, actually most of these have been done by the UK, but dollars are dollars or dollars are euros or it doesn't yes. matter. Yes. You could see that normally they would have spent 16,000 euros. Now they've spent, you know, so in order to do this job, they've spent 8,000 euros. So they basically paid for the kit in the first clean it's a major clean but they've still they've got the piece piece of equipment for three six nine months later when the job when they do the job again or if it's a bsp they can they could be using it somewhere different every day yes and what was the the b would you say a bsd yes i'll build in service contractor oh sure yes uh-huh yeah, yeah. Sorry. well you know i also uh, seen on the site though that you guys are also certified uh skyback is also certified as a division two explosives atmospheres. Yeah, you mentioned you mentioned the name Sky, you mentioned the name Skyvac there. There there is a we do have some competition in, in the company called Skyvac. So we're Spacevac. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. No, that's fine. No, that's that's fine because I think that's something I should sort of clear up with you. 
uh, or not clear up, but just clarify. Um, Spacevac, this is it's going to be a strange story, but Spacevac space used to be called Skyvac. This was going oh. back about eight years ago. Um, they started making the products and then they were selling them through a distributor and that was their main distributor in the UK was this company. But Spacevac never, or at the time, Spacevac, who were then Skyvac, never registered the, the product name. So the guy that was distributing thought, this is a good idea. And he registered the name Skyvac and made his own knockoff kit and basically he became Skyvac. So Spacevac, or so the original Skyvac, who, who are now Spacevac, they said, well, let's name ourselves one higher than the sky, we'll call it space. So they became Spacevac. So consequently, since then, Spacevac, although they invented it, they don't have their original name anymore. Um, but having said that, we've continued to develop the product um, so our, our kit is, it has, it has lightweight, stronger carbon fiber poles. It has interlocking carbon fiber heads. Um, the brushes are all integrated, the, everything safety in, the interlocking. The Skyvac, they really haven't evolved their kit. They've just kept it as well, pretty much the first incarnation. And they actually sort of just knock it out cheaper than us so it's you know the poles aren't as good it's just it's just not as good the division two kit or for the com completing cleaning in combustible environments combustible dust environments spacevac have a patent on that kit so skyvac have been selling a kit but they've agreed to take it off the market because they're infringing on our patent so we have had sure. to take we've had to take them to court to do it but it's i don't really want to say They'll be quite happy if you phone Skyvac up to just tell you that they're just as good as Spacevac and they'll give you some sort of reasoning because they're just, uh, their kits are, really, they don't sell their kits for any cheaper than I buy them from the UK for. The only thing is, but we have a manufacturer's distributor prices built into our price. So it, it sort of inflates it a little bit to make it more expensive, but then we, it is a considerably different animal to the, to the, the naked eye at first glance, if you spend 30 seconds looking at the two of them, you might be the same, but you don't have to go far beyond that if you've done any cleaning. And so, say, yeah. you know, with our kit, you can clean horizontally, you can clean down, there's no fear of separation. Which it's just, we only do one thing, and that's high level cleaning. They, uh, they try to be, you know, they're more of a jack of all trades, master of none type. Sure, sure. sure. Yep. Anyway, that's that's just just in case the Skyvac name you you have questions or it pops up. Okay, great. Well, thank you for explaining that. Yeah. Um, so you were saying that a kit costs about thirty five hundred dollars. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, there's you know the, that's distributors like to make their their sort of thirty percent on a on yeah, a. Yeah, they have to. Yeah, yeah, they got to make money too. Yeah, they got to make. So it's the way we go to market is basically through manufacturer's rep. So anybody that, any one of your members that might want a demonstration or got in touch with us, we could turn around and say, okay, we'll put you in touch with a guy that, or we'll get somebody locally to call you or regionally. And uh, they can call you, we can arrange a demo and then should a sale go through, we can arrange it. So that, I mean, they can buy direct from us, but we really have to protect our price and, you know, sell at distributor call, uh, sell at list price. So anyway, it's all they can find somebody local they already deal with. I mean, we're dealing with all of the, you know, your Veritas, your Home Depot pros, your Waxies, mm -hmm. um, you know, all of these people, your more your nationwide ones. And then we have regionally, pretty much in most states. I mean, there's a few states like, I don't know, let's say Montana, that we might not have a distributor set up, but sure. most most places we've got distributors. So we can we can support your members with, you know, product information, demonstrations, and distribution. Oh, great. So when we, when we talk about that kit, what do we get with a kit? Um, I can send you some information on a kit. With a kit, you... It doesn't come with a vacuum. That just because some people say does it. You but we you can connect to any basically commercial vacuum. So I'm basically if you same thing if it was a division two kit for the combustible dust environments for your food service industries and places like that. Um, so the, the kit come with basically a connection so you can connect it to a vac. So if you've got a vac, you can use your own vac, or we can always 
you know, recommend a VAC as well, or supply a VAC. Um, so you've got your hose to connect it to, and you, your connection cuff. Then you've got a, an 18 foot hose, uh, or five meter hose, so that gives you a lot of versatility. Then you have a connection cuff to your base poles. Then you have five carbon fiber poles. Um, five of them are five foot long. And then you've got one that's about three foot long or two and a half foot long. It's a half. We call it half pole. So you've got about 28 foot of, of poles in order to uh, be able to, you know, extend from the ground. These are all long. These are all lightweight, strong. They're, they're high quality carbon fiber. So the thing is with that, you need not only do you need sort of the rigidity, you need the lightweightness as the lightweight as well. Those poles to get you 28, 30 feet high, they weigh four pounds. So it's super light and strong and rigid. So that's the difference you would have had if you were trying to do with aluminum or the PVC, you'll have the extra weight. Plus you've got a lot of flex in the poles, which makes cleaning the pipe a lot harder. And then from there, you've got four carbon fiber heads that fit into the ends. You have a straight head, a 45 degree head, a 90 degree head, and then a 135. So they all lock in the safety push button. And then you put your brushes in those. All of those heads are interlocking, so they have. You could actually go up at 45 degrees and then stick another pole and go out, or you could go over. You know, if you're cleaning, you know, deep ledges or deep ducting, you can get up and out at basically any angle. And these poles that everything locks together. And then from there, in the standard kit, you have five brushes. So you've got a round brush, like a, a large oblong tool. For which is good for ducting walls and things like that. You've got two flexi sidewinder brushes, an eight inch and a 15 inch, which are versatile for ducting and things like that. Um, and then you have a, a, a radius ducting brush. So that's those, and then on top of that, you've got a camera monitor. So you have a little monitor that mounts at operator level, camera at the top, they connect via Bluetooth, um, and you can basically, so you can see what you're cleaning or you can use it for inspection purposes, record videos, take pictures, those type of things. The kit is available without the camera. I mean, we've sold to a lot of places. It, we probably have 40 kits working in various casinos in Las Vegas. Part, I don't think any of them ever buy the camera because they, you know, they, I guess they've got enough cameras there, but they figure, <laughs> they figure <laughs> the camera might go for a walk, so they don't buy it. But I'd say about 65% of the kits we sell, sell with a camera. Mm -hmm. okay. so that, that's, that's the basis of the main kit. We have a stripped down version that we sell that retails for under $2,000, which is a 20 foot kit. But it's a sort of, there's a few, let this, let's say less pieces. All of the equipment, one of these, plus there's some accessories you can buy a la carte, and it basically works the same for the Division Two kit, the combustible dust kit. The only thing with a combustible dust, because you're in a combustible and potentially combustible environment, you can't use the camera in there, or we don't sell the camera with the kit, I should say. Makes sense. Yeah, so a person does have options then. So that's yeah. really good, you know, if they wanted to, they could, they could buy a kit for $2,000 and expand off Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, and that's what. That's why summer. That's why we had that. We introduced that kit, so it can. It, you know, if somebody's got a, a tighter budget, they want to get into it. They can get the twenty foot kit, work with it, grow, and uh, you know, sometimes we uh, we have people that buy one full kit and one uh, and one we call it the pioneer kit and one pioneer kit, so they can sort of mix. Match because not all the time do they need thirty feet. So for it's a it's a good option for people that might only have a twenty foot ceiling. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah I've seen on the website too that it was talking about where there was a world record uh, set at the CMS Berlin uh, conventions. Uh, it must have been a yeah. show. And yeah, I can't remember what they cleaned. Fifty some odd feet in the air. Yeah. Like that. 54 or 57 feet they put it in meters because they're because but what, yeah. well, the one thing with that when we recommend people put the poles together we recommend they lean them up against the wall and feed them in from the bottom because it's just easier to assemble them when you break the world the world record you actually have to put the, the 50 something feet of poles laying out horizontally on the ground and then you have to pick them up so you can imagine if you had a you know this carbon fiber you had a 50 a 50 something foot fishing rod yes. call it. and as you start to lift it up you're going to get a lot of flex in it so it was really you now that's probably seeing a, a something picked up like this and then 
pulled up 50, 60 feet high. That just sort of goes to show that the quality of the carbon fiber we yeah. use. Um, exactly. So that's really probably, once you've got it up there, especially if you're cleaning a wall or something like that or a solid bean, it's not that hard. But the hard part is actually the hard part is getting it up there. So that proves the, yeah. uh, sort of the, the strength and the rigidity of the poles. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. Yeah, there, I, I think it's a great product. I, I've never used one, but just from the research that I've done, you know, I think it's a fantastic product, you know, and uh, uh, I think uh, there's a, a lot of BSCs that can use it out there, both BSCs and residential cleaners. Uh, you know, because some of these homes that you go into, you know, you're, you're going to have a 20-foot ceiling, and many times we get questions, well, how do we clean this ledger? How do we do this? And this here would actually absolutely solve the issue. Yes. Yeah. You know? um, you know, but again, I think on the residential side, it would be probably more for the larger companies uh, because of the smaller ones, uh, you know, that'd be quite an investment for them. But uh, there again, you know, uh, if they want to continue to scale their business, uh, it's, again, it's just an investment in equipment just like anything else. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, great. Um, well, uh, you know, I don't want to take a lot of your time. No, no. Would you want me to send you some literature or I've, I'd like to see some case studies. I, I, I read, or I didn't, I wasn't, yeah, I didn't read the one on uh, Ikea. I think they were, there's a case study on Ikea, uh, the retail store. Okay. Uh, but yeah, some case studies would be great, you know, because then I can, I can talk numbers when I'm talking to people and, and uh, you know, let them know that, you know, here's what you can tell your clients that they can project uh, this type of savings versus the conventional way of a, of a lift or whatever. Um, but yeah, that would be great. Yeah, okay. I'll uh, do some more things. I'll get some, uh, you know, once I get more information and things, I will uh, get some chatter going on uh, Facebook and LinkedIn, you know, about the space back and, uh, you know, uh, see if I can help get the word out there for you. No, okay. No, I appreciate that. Um, I've actually have to, I've got a lunch meeting here, you know, in, uh, which I know. So hopefully, hopefully that won't, it might go all afternoon. It's Christmas time, but uh, hopefully, I'll, if I don't get it, then to, I'll get it to you. If not, if I don't get it today, I'll send you some stuff tomorrow. I won't I'll bombard you with too much stuff, and then sure. we'll uh, and we'll go from there. And then we do actually have, uh, you know, if we if this evolves here, I can get you hooked up with our partner page. So we have a partner page for people that are. Um, basically wants the resources so you could log on to the website so you really have to be a distributor or someone that's promoting space back in order to do that but it's basically uh you can go on there there's videos there's you know all the brochures are on there there's pictures of space back in action there's you know all of the all, all of the all of those type of things there so uh, the case studies and there's lots of materials so there might be stuff that you could you know as we as things develop further down the road, we could see about getting you hooked up onto that one and then there's more resources. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, do you guys have uh, such a, an affiliate program? So a person doesn't have to be a distributor to, to promote your, your products? No, I mean, no, you, I mean, realistically, I mean, uh, our distributors, we try to protect the distributors as far as, uh, you know, we just don't go and undercut them because really it's obviously we could sell for, we could sell to our own customers at distributor price and, you know, but, and, and be, be more manageable. So we really just try to protect our distributors. I mean, if you, uh, if we got to the point where, um, you know, you were generating income for us, you know, we could we, we could uh, talk about how we could thank you for doing it, but I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, realistically, yeah. yeah, realistically, there's nothing, there's there's nothing, there's we don't have any problems with anybody you know, promoting our kit in a positive way. Yeah, well, that's what it's all about, you know. And I'm, like I say again, you know, I'm not really too concerned about the about uh, making money off it. It's just that uh, you know, it's all about educating my members. That's yeah. that's my bottom line. That's all I care about. I help them in a lot of other different ways to where I get monetized for that. So um, to me, it's, it's not a big deal, but I always, I always have to ask because we have a, we have an affiliate program on, on our websites. And uh, you know, if you'd like to, you could always sign up for that because I'm sure you have plenty of cleaning companies coming through your way that we're probably looking for other training materials or something else that could also benefit their businesses. 
So if you guys were to sign up as an affiliate, then you could, you would be able to, uh, you know, make a little bit of money off of that. And for, yeah. Yeah. for companies that aren't interested in the, 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 the actual getting paid for that, what we do is that we actually, uh, once we hit a certain uh, monetary level, we actually just send that to a nonprofit called cleaning for reason uh, in their, in their name. So we make so a person can either way they want to do it. It doesn't matter to us, but. Okay. No, well, that's, that's fine. I mean, the, the, uh, and the one thing we do struggle with, and it's also in the UK's or Europe seem to be better than a lot of companies in, in this, this side of the, the pond, but most of the people that carry our product, they're not really good. They put it up on the website. They don't really care about, you know, sometimes they don't put great pictures up there. Uh, they don't, as, as the kit changes, they don't up, update their website. So there's a lot of, stale information on the website if you on, on various websites so to have someone that you know has our product on there and that we could work with that maintains it we could probably if we were saying to somebody you know you're looking for uh uh you know some information and an unbiased opinion go to my my house cleaning biz.com or whatever or janitorial yeah. resources and uh you know that could be could be it's almost an independent where people might we could point people to for uh, you know obviously the first place we point them to is is our websites yeah yeah but um, you know outside that if I don't know do you do much search engine optimization or do you, or do you just because oh, yeah. of what do you you get good generic yeah, yeah. We, we also we also own a marketing agency so uh, through through our, our companies uh, for our members and things you know obviously I offer coaching and, and, and a lot of other things but we have a separate marketing agency to where we provide marketing. We develop websites, SEO, and all kinds of things for, for cleaning company, uh, cleaning business owners and other companies. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you know, do you have a distributor here in Minneapolis, Minnesota? Yeah, we, the main one in Minneapolis is, uh, is Dalco. Dalco. Yeah. I know them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a manufacturer's rep in uh, Minneapolis is a, a company called DC Brown. Yep, know them too. So it's Doug Brown. So if uh, Doug's a Doug's a good guy. Uh, so um, yeah, so he's he knows uh, he knows our, our product pretty really, pretty well. Saw Doug a couple, a couple of weeks ago at the ISSA in Vegas. So uh, you know, feel free to reach out to him. You know, the, the, uh, or and uh, I can't think of the game. The, the, I've been to Dalco, um, but or one of their locations, but I, uh, I can't remember who the sales manager is there that, that handles the product. But there's a, uh, there's a guy that works for DC Brown, Roger Collins, and he used to work at Dalco. And now he works for DC Brown. Sure. So, sure. Uh, they, yeah. they have a pretty good relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two good companies there. So yeah. 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 That's what I'll do. But yeah. Cause I often, well, I like to do like uh, product reviews and things like that. You know, like you're saying, uh, you know, I'll do a product review on something and post it on our website for our members uh, so they can go into that area and, and uh, you know, learn about products. Um, so, yeah, I think if I, if I were able to uh, get a chance to where I get my hands on one to where I could uh, use it, I could give an unbiased opinion on exactly what I think, good, bad, or indifferent. I lost to your segment. Are you okay there, Karen? Oh, yeah. You got the internet. Uh, oh, yeah, it looks like, looks like you're freezing up, so... Um, I don't want to take up any more of your time, Stuart. Uh, I really appreciate you uh, taking the time you did to, to talk about SpaceVac. Uh, great product. I think it's a great product. I'm going to help you promote it and, uh, you know, educate our members on it. Uh, hopefully we can sell, uh, sell a few of them too. Okay, Stuart. Uh, yeah, I think you, you must have lost internet. So thanks, Stuart, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Well, I hope you found that helpful. You know, because um, a tool like that there uh, can really make a difference. So again, uh, if you found it helpful, go ahead and make some comments and, and share the video. And uh, as usual, if you have not subscribed to our uh, YouTube channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Uh, we have hundreds and hundreds of videos on how to develop a, uh, a successful cleaning business. So until next time, we'll see you.